Hallelujah. Hey, am I? Let's celebrate Jesus. Victory. Yama Soto Rebesa. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you, King of Glory. Yes, Lord. We bless you, Lord of Lords. Jesus. Master Jesus, we bless you. Oh, hallelujah. Yama Sete Rebebe. Blessed be Jesus. Well, it is winter and we're feeling cold. But I'm glad that uh, in this first day of fasting, you are here. Amen. Many across the globe have been fasting with us. And in this moment, if you are connected, we acknowledge you. And may God answer you. Is a prayer answering God. He will answer you. I will say the Lord will say, Seek me, and you will find me. He is an awesome God. Amen. He's a prayer answering God. Amen. Those of you who are here from very far, you have come because you want to be here, celebrate God, and experience His grace with us, or because you are part of the IVP. I want you to know. You will not leave the same way you walked in. I will say. Ladies and gentlemen, believe God. You will answer your prayers. You got to have faith in God. Amen. God honors faith. Amen. Look at the person next to you. Say, God honors faith. God honors faith. Meaning, if you have faith in your heart, God will honor it. I will say. True faith in your heart will never be disappointed. Hallelujah. God will meet you at the point of your need. Are you with me? So tonight we lay the foundation. Every day, today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the dozen IVP Saturday and Sunday, we will be here. We will seek the face of God. Amen. If somebody will ask me, what are you believing God for this weekend? I don't want to have church as usual. Hallelujah. This is July. I will say. I say this is July. July. This is the first day of the seventh month. Hallelujah. Something surely must manifest in the name I of Jesus. I will say. If you, 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 you have difficulties in your body, you are sick. I want you to believe that in this week, you'll receive your complete healing. Somebody receive. If you are here, you're praying for a loved one, somebody you love who is sick, your family member, your friend, your colleague, whatever the case may be, our God answers our prayers. I believe that this it. week, not next week, this week, this that week. thing will go. I receive. I heard a man told me, why do you want me to trust God for this to go? I have lived with it for long. Now I can manage the situation. Mm. I say, it's not for you to manage. On the cross of Calvary, Jesus Christ paid the price Hallelujah. in full. Hallelujah. Oh, well, uh, me, I manage this blood pressure. I can manage it. It's not for you to manage. Amen. Jesus Christ did it for you. There will be no blood pressure in you ever again. I will save. Do you believe God with me? Yes, we believe. Now, if you're out there, you still saying, will I go to the IVP? Please register and be part of this. In the weekend from uh, uh, Friday till Sunday, the dimension will be different. And on Saturday, full day, we will have a moment as never before. I, I want you to welcome somebody next to you, your brother, your sister. Welcome somebody. And while you are at it, I want you to lift your hands with me. Soto Ramaseya. I want us to pray. Today we pray as we fast. If you are fasting also, I want you to seize this moment and pray, speak to God. Father, we thank you. Yes, we love Lord. to love you. We bless you. Bless we bless you. We bless you. Mm. 
we give you all the glory we give you all the praise spirit of the living god we have gathered glorify jesus christ in our midst. yes lord let it be known that we have not called on an idol yes, but we have called on the maker of heaven and earth Amen. the god who sits upon the throne with all power in his hand mm. let it be known that the one who says a word and it comes to pass is our Jesus. god the uncreated creator mm. the maker of everything that exists in the visible and the mm. invisible Amen. we call on you in this moment of fast Jesus. in this moment of prayer mm. we trust you oh lord Yes, Lord. you will show up in our lives we you will glorify your name, name those who Jesus. look to you are radiant their faces will never be covered with mm. shame we have called on you yes, and we have said oh lord not unto us but unto your name oh, give Jesus. glory for why would the nation say where is their god our god is in heaven seated mm. upon the throne lord we look to you yes, yes, you answer prayer you answer prayer yes, Lord. as your sons and your daughters gather in your name you say you will answer we have come oh lord Jesus. we lay before you our burden we lay our lords before you mm. we trust that in golgotha you died on the cross for us mm. you paid the price in full that today we may be beneficiaries yes, of Jesus. what you have we sacrificed received. lord help us help us stand help us walk let us be again the reflection of your glory yes, let lord. it be known that we are yours Yes, Lord. And that you are the true, the only God. You are Yahweh. You are Jehovah. You are God. You are the great King. You are I am that I am. You are the, the Lord of our salvation. You call on you. We call on you. We call on you. We call on you, Jehovah. We call on you. Yes, Jesus. Oh God. You say that there shall be a distinction between those who serve you and those who do not serve you. Yes, we are yours, O oh Lord. Yes, we Jesus. beat our chest, O oh Lord, in the front of the world and say, we are yours. We are yes, saved. Master. Our names are written in the book of wow. life. We are different. We are not orphans. Oh, we have a king in our lives. We yes, have Lord. a ruler. We have a God in our lives. Mm. He rules. He stands by our side. Oh, he is God. the Alpha and Omega, ye maturobo sha, ye me rebe karia rababoso, ye mate rebe kanto robobo, ye mazikata robo shekete, ye masoko to rebe santa, Jehovah, 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 you say, you will seek me and you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart, we have come for you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. We have come for you, oh yes, God. Jesus. We look to you, Jesus. Mm. My God, you answer by fire. Yes, you are a way maker. Mm. You are a destiny changer. Amen. You are a prayer answering God. Amen. Devil rebuking God. Yes, Cancer Lord. healing God. You are my God. You are my God. Robo said, call on him. Yes, and he will answer you. Yes, Lord. Tonight, call on him. Oh, God. Call on him. Yes, Jesus. Call on him. Yes, Lord. Call on him. He is not an idol. Jesus. He is not an idol. Jesus. He is a prayer answering God. Mm. He answers by fire. Yes, Lord. He's answering somebody tonight. He am masoko tovo. Reketa kuriya baba baba. Yerebe zata. Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Sabaot. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Chikenu. Jehovah Olam. Jehovah Ra. El Shaddai. El Elion. Adonai. Papa, Papa, do 
tonight we say, Papa, Abba Father, Ye Masoto Rakatashata, Ye Makono, Ye Katarebebe, Yo Mosoto, Ya Katerebebe, Yo Bosata, Baba Reketayobo, Ye Rebe Zakatarababa, Yahweh, Yahweh, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, Jesus. covenant keeping God. You gave an answer to the prayers of your daughter Anna. You gave Anna Samuel. You stopped the mockeries of Penina. You are a prayer answering. Yamasete Rebesaya. Yo Tolobo Saya. Yete Rabababasete. Yo Toto Toto. You are our victory. We know nobody else but you. Yes, Lord. We have nobody else but you. Yekasoto. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are the uncreated creator, the eternal self existing one. Before your throne, the angels bow. The 24 elders give you glory. Oh, we honor you. Yes, we Lord. honor you, Jehovah. Yes, Lord. You are strong and mighty. You are powerful. You are glorious. Yes, you are exalted. Yes, you are elevated. Hallelujah. We crown you king, oh yes, God. Lord. We crown you king, you oh, king God. oh God. Somebody raise your voice. Yes, Lord. Somebody call on him. Glorious God. Call on him. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Baba, Baba. You alone, my God. Glorious God. Glorious God. How great you are. You, oh God, you are above. You are almighty. You are the great I am. You are the I am that I am. You alone are God. You alone are God. You alone are God. You alone are God. Jesus, we call you Yahweh. We call you Abba Father. We call you the mighty one. The God of Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, the God of all Lucas. We call upon you tonight. Jesus, 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 Jesus. You are opening a door for somebody. You are doing what only you can do. You are our physician. The great physician is you. We call you Jehovah Rapha. What doctors cannot do for us, you can do for us. You know how to heal Ebola. You know how to heal malaria. You know how to heal cancer. You know how to heal HIV. You know how to heal arthritis. You know how to heal sugar diabetes. You know how to heal blood pressure. You know how to heal any disease. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Rapha. My healer, my deliverer, yes, Jesus. my deliverer, yes, way maker. Oh, you Jesus. make a way where there seems to be no way, no way, no way. You make a way. Yes, Lord. And tonight you're making a way. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight you are making a way. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, you are making a way. You are opening a closed door. In the name of you Jesus. are working miracles for your sons and for your daughters. A closed door is opening up. I receive. A closed door is opening up. I receive. God is showing up again. I that He alone is God. I Beside Him, there is no other God from everlasting to everlasting oh, yes. you the Lamb of God Jesus. you are God Jesus. Hey. Oh, Baba hallelujah hey. ministries is calling on you Alfluka is calling on you 
Your son is calling on you. Your daughter is calling on you. We know nobody else. We have nobody else. It is you, our God. It is you, our hope. It is you, our future. It is you, our deliverance. Yahweh! Yahweh! What about the rabba set a rebbe? Rabba tika taba rebba tada masha. Rako to matea mata yama. Yo mote rebeka tala baba. Hey, Araba sete. Moto robo sata. Rabba basete rebbe seta. The God of Gideon. You call him a mighty man of valor. Yes. He was weak in himself. But God, you know the deposit you had in him. We call on you. We call on you. You can turn ordinary waters to wine. Yes, Sour waters to yes, sweet waters. Thank you, Jesus. Ebenezer. You yes, brought Lord. us this far. Amen. You will not leave us. I we receive. look at you, Lord. You perfect everything in our mm. lives. Your promises in our lives are yes and amen. amen. Your promises will come to pass. Oh, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. We call on you, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Master of our souls. King of glory. The Ancient of Days. We exalt you tonight. We call upon you, God. Shakata Baba Baba. Yende Besata. Yes, Yahweh. Jesus. God will answer you tonight. I receive. Yamazete Rekato Yobo Shoto. Expect his answer as you call on him. Expect your miracle as you call on him. Wherever you are, expect what only God can do. Expect a God who is alive. Yereko soyo mosata. Hekata rebepeshaya. Yepahula. Jesus, Jesus. Every yoke of the enemy is destroyed. Every yoke of the enemy the is destroyed. What you lost, you will find. What you lost, you will find. Whatever the enemy has stolen, God is restoring back to you. If a thief be found, he shall be made to pay seven times. God is rewarding you with seven times. I see somebody's life turning around. Elevation is coming your way. There is a turnaround in the atmosphere. I, I don't know whose word is this, somebody but I sense in the Holy Ghost that somebody is where God wanted him to I be. Receive. receive what is yours. Receive, receive. receive your breakthrough. Receive your miracle. Receive. receive your healing. Receive an receive. open door. Receive your testimony. You will never be the same I again. Jesus. Yatareka Soto. Mata Baba Baba Baba. July is yours. Jesus. July is yours. I receive. From today, you begin to see the glory of I God. Receive. As never before. As I never before. That. As never before. As never before. I, I prophesy victory in your life. I, I prophesy elevation in your I life. I speak open, open doors in your I life. In the doors. name of Jesus. Jesus name. God is opening yes, doors. There are angels here. Oh, there are angels here. I the angels of God are all over. Thank God you, is Lord. answering your cry. Thank God you, is Jesus. answering your prayers. You, Believe God. I your receive. fast is not for nothing. I your prayer are not for nothing. I Something big is happening. Thank what you, used Jesus. to be difficult, 
God is making easy Thank what you, was Jesus. called impossible. God is making possible. I receive. Shakata rokoto shataka rebebebe rakasata rekete shoto shakata rokoto. Yahweh, Yahweh, Korobosaya, Zoto Rokoto, Mata Rekashia, Yesete Rekata Rokoto Shoto, Jesus, the healer, Jesus, the deliverer, Jesus, Jesus, destiny changer, Matoyola. Get up, Santa. Lift your hand as high as you can get. The Spirit of God is here. Spirit of God. Zata Reketa. Masoto. Someone is watching me right now. You have problems with your joints. And right now you are in pain from your shoulder. Your right shoulder down. God is telling me to tell you. He has remembered you and your time to just to testify as a right. Receive your miracle in the name I of Jesus. Receive. I'm seeing a man. You are watching me. You have your right, your left hands on your forehead. You are praying because of severe migraines. Now I speak against this severe migraine to leave you in the name of of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Miracles name. are happening here. With your hands up, I want you to present to God your petition. Mm. Whatever you speak to God tonight, God in heaven will answer. I receive. If you call on God for your marriage, you call on God for your family, you I call receive. on God for your health, whatever petition you present to God tonight, I proclaim as an authorized mouth of God that my King, my God will answer you. I Present say. to God your petition. Speak to God. Speak to God. Speak to God. Don't talk or shut up. Speak to God. Present Him your finances. Present Him your finances. Makarabasoto rekato shoto. Parabasoto. Robo Masete reka to shoto. Yahweh. Yahweh. Soto robo shakarababa. In the seven days of glory, as we fast and pray, Turn our face unto Jehovah. Jesus. Something good will happen to you. I will save it. For he will make the promises no man that he may lie. Amen. No is he a son of man that he may repent. Amen. Yahweh. Oh Jesus. Bosayaba. Mm. Jehovah. Mm. Jehovah. Mm. Jehovah. Oh Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Lord, I give you glory. I give you praise. Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we pray. Have it your way. Jesus. Heal us and bless us. In the name of Jesus. I want to touch somebody. God is leading me to touch somebody. Somebody who was born on the 22nd of May. Very old. Mande koto yobo koto shokoto. Masete rebe. Zete. Can I pray for you? Jesus. Can I pray for you, Papa? Mm. I, God is telling me today is healing. Is I healing receive. today. I receive. Hear me. Are you together, mommy? Is your husband. Yes. You've been married for a while now. 37 years. 37 years. Yes. On Wednesday. Yes. You are turning 37 on Wednesday. Yes. The Lord is saying to me that his hand is on you. And Thank from you, today is relieving you from the pain. 
Hallelujah. I am speaking against prostate cancer. I receive. I am speaking receive. against. You've been diagnosed with prostate cancer. God said that he's relieving you from it. Receive it. May I speak to somebody that today is your day. I receive. Today is your day in the name I of Jesus. I receive. Little, little. What is little? That's his first name. That is his first name. Yes. Little. Yes. Bennett. Yes. That is his name. His and what's your name? I'm Jeannie. You are Jeannie? Yes. So this is your husband, Jeannie? Yes, sir. Jeannie. Yes. Shirley. Shirley is my David. name. David. Yes. Oh, All God. these are your names. Yes. Bennett. Yes. God yes. is answering your prayers. Oh, Somebody lift your hand as high as you can get. I receive. Father, we give you glory. Receive. You begin to do it, you fulfill it in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. You begin to do it, you fulfill it in Thank the name of Jesus. Jesus. I speak against prostate cancer. In the name I of Jesus. I speak against our blood pressure. In the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I speak complete healing in Jesus, in Jesus name. name. Everybody receive your healing. Receive, receive your, your healing. deliverance. Receive. receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. Masoto rekata shoto. Barabasoto. God is in God is doing something. Something Hallelujah. here. Something good. Hallelujah. Do you know Michael David? I, I, I can't hear. Do you know Michael David? Do you know anybody called Michael David? That is your husband. Is your husband. But God is saying that we should pray for a great man. God is saying we should pray for a great man. But for seven months or so, this man has not been there. Please come. Come quickly. Glory to Jesus. Listen to me. Tonight, before everything you had to say to God Jesus. comes out of you, the answers will begin to pop I around receive. you. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hear me. I heard God say that I should pray for a man. Mm. He's a great man. Michael, David. And you say that's your husband. Yes, sir. Is that true? That's very true. This man is called to serve God. Yes. But you see, the enemy has played tricks on him that now I'm seeing him moving from the path that the Lord had drawn for him. Seven months ago, he, he was led to do things that he's supposed not even to do. That decision, do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Do you understand that? I understand. Is he a servant of God? He's a pastor. Is a pastor. Is Kingdom Life a good name? Yes. That's the name of our ministry. Sorry? Jesus. Kingdom Life is the name of our ministry. That's the name of your ministry. Kingdom mm. Life. But this man had moved. Things are, the things that are happening are not normal. The enemy is claiming him, is claiming his anointing. But because you came today, we pray for you. We pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. But, but I gotta ask you, where is he? Are you still together? He left about seven months ago. He left you seven months ago. Your husband left you seven months ago. You don't play with number seven on the first day of the seventh month. Your husband is a good man. Don't give up on him. You see, sometimes in our weak moment, Many who are supposed to call on God for us, throw dust on us, conclude mm. our lives. But I know if I am picking this in the spirit, it's because you have not given up on him. It's because you're believing Santa. God for him. Thank because you, you are praying for him. Hallelujah. Can I announce to you that, that your miracle has arrived? Yeah. Glory to Jesus. Somebody receive. Is there anybody else I who's ready to see the manifestation that. of his miracle? Jesus' name. I see you rejoicing and dancing. It's like a small party. Uh, on the 4th of November this year. Do you understand? The 4th? Yes. 
this year, I see you dancing. You saying that the masako is now complete because God is not just restoring your, your your marriage, but God is blessing your hands. God is lifting the ministry again. Hallelujah. God is doing what people thought that they will never be seen again Receive in your life. It. Thank you, Jesus. Your mocha will admire you. My Jesus. name is Aflukau. Reba Soto. I have spoken in the name of Jesus. Yes. And may this word be yours too. We Your mockers will admire you. I receive. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I seal it in your life. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and say, Lord. Lord. As I begin this month of July. As I begin this month of July. Every word pronounced over my life. Every word pronounced over my life. May it manifest this week. May it manifest this week. From this day forward. From this day forward. From this very hour forward. From this very hour forward. May I see the glory of God. May I see the glory of God. May I testify the glory of God. May I testify the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Kindly have a seat uh, if you can. The Lord help us tonight. If you are here, just know. By the mere fact that you are physically here, something will touch you tonight. I, I feel the glory of God in these seven days, on the first day of this seven month. Something will happen to you tonight. I, I can't hear you. Somebody holler. I receive it. Mm. Jesus name. I don't know what will be tomorrow. Before tomorrow, you, you will look like a different person. I receive it. Please have a seat. I am pressed to do what God had assigned for me to do that we began to follow two weeks back. Speaking to you on the altar and leading you to a place of prayer. As I speak, I speak to those of you who are present under the sound of my voice and those who may be connecting from around the world. This word is a word in season designed by God for you. The Bible said there is a time to cry, but the Bible said there is also a time to rejoice. Receive it. You have cried and cried enough. Amen. You have entered into that time, that moment, that season of your victory. I receive. My words are not just words to encourage you. I am speaking with a prophetic mentor. I me. receive. Every word pronounced, declared, uttered by me now under the unction of God. May it manifest in your life I in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Jesus. You have gotten to a place in your life where those who have mocked you before, those who have concluded your life and say, she will amount to nothing, he will amount to nothing, about to be surprised I because the glory of God shall be made manifest in, in your life. Who am I speaking to? I receive it. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. In Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Please have a seat if you can. Genesis 8 verse 20 to 21. Genesis 8, 20 to 21. At the count of three, we read one, two, and three. Amen. Amen. 
one of the oldest story that many of us had the privilege to hear of from Sunday school, the story of Noah. The Lord spoke to a man. He was a commoner, but chosen by God. God warned him that he would destroy everything that he had created. He heard God because our God is a speaking God. Amen. God is not a God made of wood. God speaks. So God told him that he will destroy everything that he had created with the flood. Now in those days, there was no rain as we know it. God will cover the earth with humidity that will come from the ground. Already talking about water from heaven down was a mystery. But God told him that uh, he will destroy the whole world by bringing waters from down. It will be a great flood. Men and women who heard it, they felt like a, this man has smoked something that is not working for him. He had some screws missing. Because oftentimes, the word of God does not make sense to us. That's why the Lord said, my righteous shall live by faith. Not by his thinking. Because where your rationality will fail you, your faith may sustain you. So the Bible says that uh, as God spoke, he also ordered him to build an ark. An ark so huge that uh, he will have all kind of creatures. Each of every creature that God had created inside. Again, that seemed to be impossible. How will you build such an ark that uh, will house all that God has created? Somebody please understand. The ways of God are not our ways. Amen. God is bigger than your philosophy, your doctrine, right. and your theology put together. The Amen. word of God, even when it does not make sense, is still the unfailing word of God of God. Amen. Not only that uh, no one could conceive such an ark in those days being built and carry the weight of the animals, they did not understand why would you build an ark in the middle of the forest. If anyone with good sense wanted to build an ark, he would go by the shore, by the seashore, and put up an ark. It will be understandable because the ark is for the water. But yeah. this man is building an ark in the middle of the forest. God is about to do something that I will astonish the world. I receive. Those who heard of your prophetic word and I wondered if it will ever happen. Let me tell you, God is no man that he may lie. Amen. Whatever proceed out of his mouth will come to pass. I receive. I see your miracle manifesting in this season. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now please have a seat. Noah in obedience did what God said. Oftentimes what God expects from you is not your understanding. It's just your obedience. Right. God is looking for children, sons and daughters who say yes sir. Who obey his word. Whatever he say, they obey his word. Noah could have maybe not made sense of what he was asked to do, but he still obeyed God. I plead with God to give you the grace to obey him. If you will Jesus. obey God, you will access his miracles. Amen. You will never be able to enjoy what God has said for you if you are not able to to do what God said do. When you obey God, you have an open door to everything he has set for you. I receive. Lift your hand and say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Give me an obedient heart. Give me an obedient heart. So it is said that uh, he picked of all the creatures and animals that are on earth. How do you get to do that? God's hands was behind him. Mm orchestrating everything to align accordingly. May the invisible hand of God be behind you. May it. this invisible hand orchestrate everything to work I for your good it. in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. 
all the animals were finally in the ark and God say close the ark in mm. obedience he closed the ark and to the astonishment of everyone who was there wandering and carrying on with the pleasure of their lives they began to feel the drops of rain the word of God came to pass mm. and we know the story God literally destroyed everything in 40 days it rained 40 days and 40 nights without a stop rain came everything was destroyed the same people who mocked Noah, while he was obeying God, are the people that began to beg him, but it was too late. Let me nice. advise your enemy. While you are still to be found, let them make friends. Let them be at peace with you. For the time is coming where they will see you from far. They'll begin to say, that guy on TV I he used to be my neighbor. I went to school with that guy in the newspaper. I but it will be too late. I, I said, late. it might be too late. Too late. I receive. They begin to beg and say, Noah, open. It was too late. For 40 days, rain came and destroyed literally everything. Mm. After 40 days, God remembered Noah and rain stopped. Please have a seat. And we know that it took a while for the waters of the flood to dry up. But finally, because everything that has a beginning must have an end. Amen. The ark of Noah stopped on the mountain called Ararat. Mount Ararat. The land was dry. Noah came out. And as he came out, he did something. Look at somebody say, God is expecting you to do something. God is expecting you to do something. You must know that the part of God will always come to pass because God is faithful to his word. Yes. If he says, I will do, trust, he will do. Amen. The most difficult part is not God's part, it's the man's part. Because you are a co-worker with God. You must do your part. If you do what you have to do, you will meet what God already did. And together there will be an explosion of glory. Hallelujah. I prophesy an explosion of glory in your life in the name I of Jesus. I Amen. see seven people receiving a now miracle. I receive. Who am I talking to? I there are receive. seven people who are receiving an outstanding I now receive. miracle. An outstanding now miracle. The, the violent take it by force. I, I said receive. the violent take it by I force. Receive. I said the violent take, take it. it by force, your time has come, your moment is I now. Receive. I receive. Pull it down, pull the miracle down, pull the glory down, pull it I down. Receive. Whoa, you are pulling it Jesus. down, it's coming, it's yours, it's yours, I receive. it's your portion. I receive it. So shall it be, it cannot be otherwise. Amen. Uh, please, beloved, bear with me, hear this. The Bible says that as soon as Noah came out, verse 20, the Bible says, Noah built an altar to the Lord. Jesus. There is power in what is called the altar. When you hear the word altar, the Lord wants you to understand how powerful it is. The Bible says as soon as Noah went out. Noah built an altar to the Lord. God is expecting somebody to build an altar. I he sent him. me, he commissioned me, he anointed me to speak to somebody. Your time of crying, your time of mourning doesn't please him. Mm. God wants you to align to what is said before you. For in his word, there is provision for your prosperity. I he sent me as a prophet to speak to you, to present you 
the word, what you ought to do. For if you will hear it and heed to that word and do what God said, you may begin to see your situation turn around. There will be a turn around in your life. I My receive. prayer is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I By seven, receive. you may testify the goodness of God. I receive. In the name of, of Jesus. Please have a seat. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord. Lift your hand wherever you are. Say, I will build an altar to the Lord. I will build an altar unto the Lord. For many of you, the devil will not want you to build an altar. For many of you, the devil will try all he can because he understands the secret of the altar. He understands the power of the altar. But you must commit. Lift your hand and say, I will build an altar to the Lord. Now he built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. He offered burnt offering on the altar. And the Lord smelled the sweet aroma according to my vision. Then the Lord said in his heart, the Lord said, in his heart all that this man did who was to build an altar the same God who brought the flood the same God who spared none and killed every obedient child every creature everything he had created when he smelled the sweet aroma coming from the altar Noah built then the Lord said in his heart Bossi Akata, Noah did not pray in tongue. He just raised an Jesus. altar. Noah did not sing hymns. He just raised an altar. Noah did not call for a prayer meeting. All he did was to raise an altar upon which he presented an offering to God. And the Bible says, as the Lord smelled the sweet aroma, then the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground for men's sake. Although the imaginations of men's heart is evil from his youth. Nor will I again destroy every living thing as I have done. If they are powerful verses, this is scaring and powerful. The Lord Almighty seemingly takes a U-turn. Not because he was pressured. He wanted to show us the power behind an altar. Oh God. The Bible says, as Noah came, he just built an altar. Who is he that taught him that the altar is important? It came from a background where people worship at the God. But the spirit of God who glorifies Jesus Christ and leads us in all truth, I believe, began to lead him to raise an altar. And he took an offering worthy. And he presented a burnt offering. When the Lord in heaven, who spoke and brought the flood, smelled it. He said, I'm smelling something coming from an altar. And the Lord said to himself, there are lives that will turn around when you understand the power behind your altar. Jesus. There will be a turnaround such as everyone who thought that knew you will not recognize you. I receive you. it. People will come and say, are you or you look like? You will say, it is I, but look what the Lord oh has God, done. Oh God, I receive it. It turned my morning into dancing. Hallelujah. I was low, now I am up. I was forgotten, now I am found. I receive God is about to make men celebrate you. I receive. Who am I talking to? I receive. Please have a seat if you can. All this happened, God, the Bible say, say to himself, I will never again curse the ground for men's sake. Meaning what? It doesn't matter from this day forward what men will do, how wicked they will be. 
because of what had happened now, I will not take an action so drastic because of the behavior. There are people you know, they are not as holy as you. You pray in time. When you come in the assemblies of the righteous, the way you lift your hand, we will feel like Gabriel is in the house. You wave it with a symphony. You worship God so well. But this person is like this. Jesus, you know me. But when you go to the ground and you begin to see what God does with him compared to you, who, hallelujah, hallelujah you, you, you wonder what's the difference. Let me tell you, there is power behind an altar. Oh, God. There are people who all they have understood in God is simple principles and they have applied it. Right. No wizard in the family gets to them. They mm -hmm. pull everybody down, but comes to them, the devil stays away. From today, every wicked spirit flying around will stay away from in you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. God said, I will never again curse. The ground for men's sake. Oh God. It doesn't matter what this guy does. And he carries on and says, although the decision I am taking right now as God, I will do it in spite of the fact that this person or this group of people are wicked from the youth. The imaginations are evil. Right. But God still says, mm. I will stand. I will protect. Thank you, I will not curse again. Mm. Oh Lord, I thank you. For it's not because we are better than others. Yes, Lord. It's not because we are greater. It's not because we are perfect. Mm. It's not because we are faultless. Oh, it is Jesus. because of your grace. Hallelujah. It is because of you, Jesus. Yes, it is because we are today through Golgotha, mm. our altar, the altar of the Lord on which Jesus Christ was laid as a supreme sacrifice. Oh, we stand and say, Abba, Father. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Have a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you that the Alto is a significant thing for every believer. And as I break it down very quickly, I want you to be patient with God. He needs you to have this. Many of us have been exposed to many different altars. Now, for those of you maybe watching us from far than this land, in Africa, altars are not a new thing. We grew up knowing many altars. Many families, even as I speak, have altars behind the kitchens, behind right. the house. They have a place, a stone or whatever whatever a dedicated place where they go and speak right. and when they speak they are not speaking to a stone that is there they are speaking mm -hmm. to what is behind the stone mm -hmm. they call the names of those who passed long time ago uncles and aunties and grandpas they call on them behind that you see altars are so powerful that in the spiritual realm those unfortunately who do not know God have understood it and they use it against even believers right. but I am standing mm. as an authorized mouth of God mm. I said to you devil your reign of terror it's is over, over. often time it was known that an altar will be a structure and every time in the olden days they spoke about the altar, they will raise an altar by putting a structure. They will do a structure, they will put a structure together using often stones as a, a durable and long-standing material. But there are very important roles and significance of altars. I told you yesterday, an altar is a gateway into the spiritual realm. When you see an altar, it's not just a structure. It is a gateway. That's why those who want to go to the spiritual realm, either with God or the devil, they will use an altar. A broom-flying devil must find the strength from an altar. I have said, point number two, an altar is a place of fellowship, communion, and invocation. 
They will come to a altar, a place. It doesn't matter if it, the structure is not to meet your standard. What made the power of the structure was not how they had painted it. It was what was backing it spiritually. It was a gateway. It was a place of fellowship. It was a place of communion. It was a place of invocation. An altar was a structure set for fellowship, for communion, and for invocation. But beyond that, that structure was for worship as they will come and sacrifice. Those worshipers who are here, can I see your hand? If you're a worshiper, you worship God, can I see your hand? One thing that you must know about worship, worship involves an offering. Every time you hear the word of God speak about worship, they presented a sacrifice. Now, it is right to define worship as lifting God and exalting him because of who he is. But you must understand, every time people said in the word of God that we are going to worship, they did not say we are going to talk to God. They said we are going to present to God and offering. That's why you cannot really seal your worship without an offering. Amen. You must have an offering to present to God. So altars were structures where they will come and lay an offering. All kind of burnt offering. When you see an altar, you must know an offering will be laid on it. I will tell you even more later on, but keep it in the back of your mind that the strength of the altar is not on the size of its structure. Right. The strength of the altar is not in the size of its structure. The strength of an altar is on the sacrifice laid on it. The powerful altar were powerful because of the type of sacrifice. If you have a huge structure called an altar and all you have there is a monkey-like sacrifice, you will get a monkey-like help from that altar. But if you have an elephant lay sacrifice, oh, you will have an elephant type of power coming from it. Are you hearing me? So it was for worship and sacrifice. For, I say, an altar is a place of covenant. Men will enter into covenant. Some of our families across the globe, people who came before us and believed on other gods and idols, they had laid structures, they had laid altars to call on certain God to protect them and their generation. They have entered into covenant with other gods. Now you are here, your great-grandfather had entered into covenant through an altar. And in that covenant, he had said, Oh, Kubu Kubu, I call on you to keep my family. The reason why I come up with all kind of funny names is because the devil has funny names. Belzebub. <laughs> now they call in a certain ancestor, a certain power, Kubu Kubu. We call on you. Be with my children, my grandchildren, the great, 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 great grandchildren of my children. Now, you are part of that bloodline. You do not know, but Kubu Kubu is looking for you. Not because of anything that you did. Simply because there was an altar. And a covenant had entered, was entered into for your family. But today, as I pray, may every Kubu Kubu leave you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every evil spirit sniffing for you. I send fire. Fire. Five, an altar as a place of remembrance. As God will bless Israel, we see them raising up an altar. And that altar was to stand before God. As men, even way after, will look at that altar, they'll remember the work of God. Six, I say, an altar is also a place of exchange. When you see an altar, just know exchange is taking place there. Right. People, especially who do not know God, when they go to the altar, they present something for something is a place of exchange understand there are things that have been presented just to get your head 
That's right. That's why you see in one family so many deaths. Every year somebody has to die. Because somebody raised an altar and say, make me wealthy. Make me rich. I will give you all my father's firstborns. Now, this person has a business that uh, is successful. He had two cows. Now, he has six cows. He feels that uh, he owns the world. But everyone is down. It's a place of exchange. Are you hearing me? Amen. We break that today. In the name of I Jesus. I said we break that today. In the name of Jesus. But your good, your good altar is also... A place of exchange. You see, That's Jesus right. Christ stands on his altar and says, Come to me, all ye who are heavy laden, mm. and I will give you rest. rest. You bring your, your, your heavy burden onto me. Mm. Cast it onto him. And it gives you in exchange his peace. He said, if you open your heart, I will dine with you and you with me. We'll talk about a heart. You dine with you and you with me. Meaning what? Dining with him and him with you, not dining together. It speaks of changing plates. Oh, After God. serving, we dine together. I take the plate I have served for myself, I give it to you. You take your plate, you have served for yourself, you give it to me. Now, my plate is full of my sickness, my disease, and all kinds of things. I give it to you. Your plate is full of good, peace, I and prosperity. That. You give it to me. It's a place of exchange. I come to church broken. I come beaten. When you see me bringing my offering here, Touching my altar. Yeah, Just know I do not stand up the same. It's a place of exchange. I receive it. The seventh thing I spoke about, I said the altar is a place of power. Somebody say power. Power. It is spelled P O W E R. Power. power. We all Christian. We all serve the same God. We all have the same Bible. We all know how to pronounce his name Jehovah. But we do not all see the same result. Right. You got to understand the secret in the word. The encoded secret in the word. As you are given the inspiration to decode it. You are able to walk in a dimension of power that is greater. Are you hearing me? The power bank that we have is in the altar. If you understand your altar, you understand your power. If your altar's power is this high. You cannot live a life with power this high. Right. What determines literally the level of power in one of the wizards that is going and terrifying the entire town is his altar. You take two wizards. This one is terrible. In my mama's family, they had Kuntu Kidi. This demonic name was the name of my mom's uncle. Kuntu Kidi. This man terrified everybody. He was an open wizard who would openly say, I am a wizard. You did to touch anybody in my family. My name is Kuntu Kidi. <laughs> Even to pronounce it, you feel like the devil is coming. <laughs> Are you hearing me? But you see, everyone you see... Even wizard was were afraid of Kuntukidi. He will call a herd from a mother, a family gathering, and he will say, "The reason why all other wizard in other families are not coming to hurt you is because I'm here as a guardian, and all of them will bow." I say, if only I was alive, I would have dealt with Kuntukidi in a way. He would have probably lost all his teeth because of the punch of power he's supposed to have. Are you hearing me? So his strength is where? He's in altar. That's why men build the altar to stand. Mm. If you go through the word, every great man had an altar. Right. Everyone. From Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David. They all raised altars because there is power Amen. in your altar. Are you hearing me? Amen. Eight, 
The altar is a place of refuge. As you go to your altar, you find refuge. It is your citadel of protection. It is also your place of justice and vindication. Your place of judgment. Some people you hurt, they go to the altar. They call on the altar and something happens. When a child of God understands the power of the altar, it becomes dangerous. Did you hear that? When a child of God understands the power of the altar, he understands everything that belongs to him, everything that he has to have, everything that he has to claim, he raises an altar, he becomes dangerous. Such a child, you hurt, he goes on his altar, maybe not even for you. His tears have, his tears have a voice before God. You will understand never to make a child of God who understands the power of the altar cry. Right. I promise you. Because when he goes on his altar, Jehovah, you know me. Jehovah, vindicate me. Let me tell you. There is a battalions of angels that are released because he understands the power of the altar. Amen. Nine, an altar is a place of meeting. There are families as soon as somebody is born, somebody is dead. There is a party or any big festival, anything that happens, they run to that place and they announce it there. That is a place of meeting. They take a baby that is born. They bring him there. And they're speaking to. Uh, on the altar. Mentioning names. And say we bring to you. Pedro Santos. Umoji. <laughs> Pedro Santos Umoji was born yesterday. Receive him. Protect him. They are speaking to a stone. But it's not a stone. It's a That's place right. of meeting. Mm. You get married, they need to introduce you. Mm -hmm. If you're not introduced, you're not known. Right. When something bad happens in the family, they come there. They speak. Some family, when somebody dies, after the funeral, the burial, they wash everybody and they take them behind the house. There is always that place in behind the house. You don't miss, you don't play there. Who knows what I'm talking about? And they start telling stories there because they know they are meeting the invisible in that place. Right. We used to be seven. Now we are three. Four are gone. We don't want to be next. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Help us. They call on whoever because an altar is a place of meeting. When I go to my place of prayer, it's my place of prayer. You know, one day I had sounds of Alleluia Ministries leadership from Namibia. They all came, 25 of them or so. And they came to see me at home right here. While speaking, I was speaking to them about my altar, place of prayer. They were receiving. And the Lord said, take them to your place of prayer. So I said, will you come to my room, to my bedroom? They came to my bedroom. And I just say, you see, I pray here. In open place. I say, I pray here. This is how I'm speaking, I'm teaching. Curiosity. This one comes and touches. I also want to pray where Papa prays. Praise, pa! The other one prays, pa! They're all falling like uh, papers. One after another. It was deliverance and deliverance just like that. Mm. It's a place of meeting. Right. Receive this word. Lastly, an, in, an altar is a, a place of divine encounters. Mm. Things happen on the altar. Right. David did not know that where he had laid his head was an altar. While sleeping, he saw heaven open. Angels going up and down. An altar is for divine encounters. Jesus. You encounter a man's God in his altar. Are you hearing me? 
But today I want to break this simple thing to you to understand. Every altar must be built on a superior altar. Okay, can I come here and say it again? Because this is so important. So key. Every altar must be built on a superior altar. Your altar must be laid on a higher altar. I, I, I say it again here. Every altar must be raised or built on a superior altar. Jesus. The foundation of the altar is key for the power releasing that altar. I, I want to try this out. If you get it, you live a life of victory. I'm Every seven. altar must be raised or built on a superior altar. I receive. Some altars in families are raised on what great granny had done. Are you hearing me? Amen. Now, have a seat. There are four levels of altars that you ought to know. The first level of every altar for you, a child of God, is called Calvary. Golgotha. There is no greater altar for you and for me than the altar of Calvary, of Golgotha, the skull. Where Jesus Christ, the supreme sacrifice, was made by God through Jesus. Jesus Christ was presented as the Lamb of God. To take away your sins and open a way of reconciliation between you and the Father. That could have never been unless there was an altar on which Jesus Christ, the sacrifice, would be laid so the greatest altar for me as a child of God is not what my great great grandfather did, but it is Golgotha. Say Golgotha. Golgotha. That's the first altar. Any other power I have, I look to the cross. For it is on the cross that uh, he shed his blood for me. My victory is not because of my muscle, but it's because of what Jesus Christ did in Golgotha. Help me say Golgotha. Golgotha. It had to be Golgotha. The prophecy spoke of Golgotha. The place outside the city. It was not by accident. It was a heavenly design. That place may have been a place before ordinary people would walk past. But when God set his eyes on the lamb as a sacrifice, he appointed a place, Golgotha. That is now our first altar. Jesus. In Golgotha, we say he died. In Golgotha, we say he paid the price. Mm. In Golgotha, we say everything was fulfilled. In Amen. Golgotha, we say we stand. Are you hearing me? Amen. Jesus Christ, Golgotha. The second altar is the altar from where you are fed spiritually. That is the altar of the house of the Lord. Now, some people come to church and feel like what makes the church, I'm talking about the local church, is the microphone. Mm -mm. You can change the microphone. It's not even the painting. Spiritually, what makes really the local church and the house of God in a natural realm and brings it power is the altar. Now, this altar is not just a pulpit. A pulpit is a natural word that can fit anything out there, any event, any organization. And we put it for performance, but an altar is for the supernatural. It is a gateway to the supernatural. It is a place of power. Are you hearing me? Amen. So this one in God counts much. That's why it makes you 
5, Jesus was speaking about reconciliation. This is what he said. He said, when you bring your offering to the altar, and the day you realize or remember that your brother has something against you, leave your offering there. Go and fix, then come back. He was talking about an altar, a structure. There is power. Some people do not understand. Why is it that you take your offering, you come and touch here or drop it here? And there are also people who do this not understanding the thing that is a place, a uh, position for you to kneel down. This is not just a kneeling down place. This is a place of power. Amen. A true man of God who leads, they call him a guardian of an altar. Because every altar is built on covenant. We may all be children of God. If you are in hallelujah ministries, though we are all children of God, we are different by the altar we have. We lift our hands and say victory, not because we feel like this is something we like. No, it's because by covenant in our spiritual DNA, he made us a firm promise you will never be defeated. Amen. I receive it. There are some promises meant to every man of God, to every child of God, to every grouping of people. That's why the day I stand before God, he will hold me accountable not of everything that is being done everywhere because I'm not the Messiah. He will hold me accountable on the things that he had asked me. And my altar represent that. When somebody comes, I don't care if you came from Japan, Tokyo, or where, but our people, when you come, you touch this altar. You have changed gears. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Are you hearing me? Amen. Altars are powerful. The second altar is an altar from where your prophetic word comes from. That altar is your place of power. Is your place of extreme power. That altar stands for you because it represents covenant. It represents promises. It represents what God said for you. Once you are linked to it, things change. Amen. Have you not seen somebody being in a certain church, a child of God? He didn't change his Bible. Things are happening in this level. He goes where God wants him to be. He connects to a different and a higher altar. Life change. Amen. It's not that he changed how to pronounce the name Jesus. No. His altar is different. When your umbilical cord is connected to mine on this altar... I promise you, the promises of God in your life will manifest differently. I receive. Now, I say to you, you got to understand, every altar had to be raised or built up on a higher and superior altar. This altar will have no power unless it is built on the altar where Jesus Christ shed his blood. If you remove Jesus Christ, you remove Golgotha from this altar, you have nothing. That's right. Beyond your philosophy and your theology, you got to understand, as a child of God, my altar is not built on my powers. As a man, I have no power. But I built the altar on what was done in Golgotha. Glory to Jesus. This speaks of Golgotha. Literally, when you come here, there is cross fulfilling whatever he had for your salvation, your deliverance, your breakthrough, your prosperity, it. your open doors. Thank here, you, Jesus. There are times where you see yourself here. People coming, the person touches the altar and he falls under the power. Did you see that? How yes. many of you have seen that? So, what is happening? Electricity? Spiritual power. That's right. There is power in my altar. Say, there is power in my altar. There is power in my altar. Now, if you are a child of God, you understand Golgotha, and you have no church because it doesn't matter anything. You know, the church, me, I'm just me and Jesus. You're missing out. Yes. You are 
missing, missing out. out. It is good to watch Pastor Alf. You are connecting spiritually because there is no distance spiritually. But if God will give you the grace, come and connect physically with the altar. Come and connect. Glory to Jesus. Sometimes I see during the week, people who have a busy schedule, they will come and touch the altar. I remember one day, a brother came and uh, he was asking for permission to go into the auditorium. It was on service day. This is a big guy. And as they asked him, but no service is locked, he said, please, I've not been in church for two weeks. I was on a trip. I've just landed. Before going to my home, I want to touch the altar. Glory to Jesus. He understands the power of the altar. Please have a seat. We close this very quickly. The third altar is a mobile altar. Is the altar of your heart. Say, my heart is my altar. My heart is my altar. When you give your life to Christ, your life becomes a sacrifice. You do it through your heart. When it comes in, it comes in your heart. Your heart is the altar. That's why if your heart is not pure, if your heart is not good, this, you can touch it, you can do whatever it is, nothing will happen. That's right. You build on Golgotha, connecting with your, your altar, where your prophetic words come from. And you must know, your heart is your altar. Somebody say, my heart is my altar. My heart is my altar. Lastly, in your life, you build altars as the Lord leads. Now this is the open ground where most of the children of God miss it. You have an altar in Golgotha. You have an altar here. You have an altar in your heart. Then you have multiple altars that are called prophetic altars. Prophetic altars. Why? Because the Lord leads you to them. This is one of the greatest things I discovered and I have done for myself. There are situations that are overwhelming. There are situations that go beyond you. Situations that go beyond you. You do not know how to handle it. There are people who literally are seeing their lives going away from them. They are calling on God. They are praying. They have called men of God to lay hands on them. They know it's not the will of God. But day by day, their lives are leaving them. They're losing weight. They are, the situation is getting worse. It is in those moments that God may lead you to raise an altar for your health. And when you raise such an altar, you're raising a place of power, a place of meeting. You're raising a place of covenant. You're raising a place where God sees you. Amen. Just like David did, as we read in 2 Samuel 24, the Bible says there was a plague. David is not a priest. David is not a pastor. But there was a situation. And over that situation, the prophet of God came to speak to him and say, for this situation, raise an altar. There are situations where God prophetically will lead you to raise an altar. And many of us have been fighting battles. Your heart is good. But you see, you are not still winning. You are not kneeling it down because you did not understand the dimension of raising an altar. When people want to pull you down, they raise altars against you. But the provision of you understanding that you too can raise an altar has been missing in your heart. You say, okay, because Jesus Christ is my intercessor, I won't pray anymore. Because Golgotha is uh, where Jesus Christ died, I don't need an altar anymore. You see contradiction where there is no contradiction. You do not understand that the things that Jesus Christ did allows you now to stand spiritually properly. Rise up an altar. We have seen how men, as they engage in uh, uh, this dimension, engage with altars, things have turned around. The Bible says there will not be one who will miscarry. And that you have miscarry. You are miscarrying again. And that you have a child now. The doctors say that you have a baby and you're saying, feeling complication. Raise up an altar. Right. Raise up an altar. No one gets married in the family. No one. No matter how long the nails are. Because some nails are very long.
No matter how long the nails are, they had to go like this. I tell you, nails are not producing. Somebody say, raise up an altar. Raise up an altar. It's a dimension in the law that lifts you up. It's a dimension you're pulling different weapons. Don't die before your time. Every weapon that God had set in the world is for you. Rise up an altar. In my life, I have gone through many battles. There are people, the day they will hear, is finished with him. They will celebrate. Many of you will testify the same. And every time I see the enemy doing whatever, the Lord may lead me say, raise up an altar. Devil, once my altar is set, you are gone. Forever. <laughs> you are gone. It's Lord over. To Jesus. For everything in my life, there is an altar. Rise up an altar. Understand the dimension. Don't just live a weak Christian life. You talk a lot. There is no, no evidence in your life. And when they're trying to teach you, you still think you know. Right. Right. Ah. There is no evidence in your life. Your life is weakness at its best. And when they try to teach you, you still argue. You think you know. For your finances, your life is ups and down. You're a child of God. Ups and down. Ups and down. Ups and down. When you raise up an altar, your altar will break every other altar because you're a child of God. I receive it. Your altar is raised because your heart is linked to God. Your altar is raised connecting with the altar where your prophetic word comes from, your altar is raised based on what was achieved in Golgotha. I tell you, no devil can win. Amen. There are people whose lives will keep on going higher and higher. The Bible says my people perish because of lack mm -hmm. of knowledge. Many people don't know. They just know the uh, Baba Mkulu's uh, altars, but the true altar they don't know. Right. And they keep on falling. Life of misery. You try it, you fall. He tried it, fall. God spoke to me. And he said, tell my people about altars. Lead my people to raise altars. Victory will be made evident. I, I pray for you. May you have victory. May you have victory. May you have victory. I receive. You're a pastor. You are tired of leading 20 people. You know that what God bestowed in your spirit is bigger than just the audience you have. Your church keep on breaking, breaking, breaking away. Raise an altar differently. You will see the glory of God. Amen. Again, family, I say, a great altar is raised on a superior altar. Are you hearing me? Amen. Where your altar is raised is important. What your altar is connected to is great of great importance. Mm. I want you to lift your hands. I want you to pray and say, Lord, prepare me. Whatever you have received today, digest it in God. Digest that word. Digest that word. Matababo Soto. Jesus. Soto Robo Kotoboshi Masata Rebecca Tarababa
Everybody speak to God. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Lift your hands, say, Lord. Lord. Thank you for Golgotha. Thank you for Golgotha. Thank you for the great altar. Thank you for the great altar. Because of Golgotha. Because of Golgotha. Because of the sacrifice of the cross. Because of the sacrifice of the cross. I stand today. I stand today. Now, I want you to look at me. I want to give you the menu. Look at me. This week is uh, extremely important. It doesn't matter what, what time we finish. If you are not ready, it's your problem. You got to break the altars that the enemy has built. You must be turned into a new man. The Amen. spirit of God must manifest. You, you will see your miracle. I Touch your head. Say, it. I will see my miracle. I will see my miracle. Now, tomorrow... We will destroy evil altars. We'll talk about it and we will engage on destroying evil altars. Glory to Jesus. Tomorrow, some people will see the enemy leaving their body. You feel it. I receive. There are evil altars that have been operating against you. As some of us, you come from a family where things have been happening. Now, if you can, come early, be in prayer. Tomorrow is very spiritual. I want you to bring your family if you can. Bring somebody. Bring your children if they are old enough. We are breaking evil actors. It will release your life. Those who say you never marry, you will marry. Those who say you never have children, you will have children. They will see you glorying in God. Are you hearing me? So tomorrow we will destroy altars lift your hand and say every altar every altar of the enemy of the enemy working against me working against shall me shall be destroyed shall be destroyed now I, I, I insist family if you have families and loved ones you have sons you have daughters that you can bring as we break evil altars that have been speaking against your family i want them to come to the house and if you can come early connect to your altar bring your offering lay it on this altar this physical altar works in your life. On Wednesday, on Wednesday, we'll talk about the power behind your own altar. And this is in preparation of helping you to raise your own altar. Are you hearing me? Yeah. What I'm laying before you is what I heard from God. On Wednesday, so tomorrow we're destroying evil altars. On Wednesday, we are talking about the power behind your altar i am helping you it's the third day i'm helping you on wednesday to know how powerful your altar is there is power Amen. power some of some of some people are, are standing against you they don't understand power you will never be the same again i receive it i say you will never be the same I again receive. remember on Wednesday is all about altars. Power in the altar. Are you hearing me? Amen. Power of your altar, power in your altar. That's Wednesday. On Thursday, I heard God. I asked him, how will I do it? He said, you will do it. He asked me to anoint you with oil. You will remember the seventh month of 2019. Now, there are thousands of people here who will try to do what God say. I want you on, that is now on Thursday, to bring anointing oil. Because we are going to a dimension. As your pastor, I will not stand before God with a red face. And he asked me, when he asked me, what did you do for my people that I put under you? No. 
I want to be able to stand before him and hear him say, yes. come unto me, faithful servant. You have done your job. Glory to Jesus. Before this week is over, your story will turn around. I, I can't hear you, amen. I Who am I speaking to? I now, Thursday is an anointing service of altars. Hear this. As soon as Jacob realized that the stone where he laid his hand, his head, was not a common stone. And he said, surely the Lord is here. The Bible said he anointed the stone. There is a link between anointing oil with the altar. He anointed the stone. I want to put oil on you. Make rebe santa. You are working out your way to the top in the name of Jesus. You will not die of cancer. You will not die of HIV. I Your life will not end up like this. In the name of Jesus. God is about to show up in your life. I receive. All your enemies shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus. On Thursday is anointing. Now come Friday. Mm -hmm. Friday, I will show you how to raise your altar. I will tell you about it. How to raise your altar. Those of you who are here on the IVP, Saturday is first, 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 first. Saturday, we are physically, we are doing it together. Saturday, we are raising up altars, but that is for the IVP. So I don't want to say, talk too much on that, okay? For you. On Friday, I will tell you what is it that you have to do to raise up an altar. I'll tell you a different altars, but I have something in my spirit. This week is the best week of your life. I receive it. Jesus' name. Pastors are out there. Whoever you are there, I speak as an authorized mouth of God. Amen. Everything I declared over you shall come to pass. I want you to sit down, sit down, have your holy communion. We're breaking bread over this word. We're breaking bread over this. As soon as you have both your bread and wine, please stand up. You're breaking your fast. Pastor Alf, can I just allow me just to give one testimony? Speak to me. She ran to me during the service when man of God was preaching. And she said, when Pastor Alf said, Seven of you are about to receive your now miracle. She received an SMS from the bank with miracle money of 3,600. What's the amount? What's the amount? Somebody! Somebody give Jesus! Receive it! Glory! I am I. Don't be jealous. Receive your miracle! Robo Sete! Immediately. Immediately, Pastor Al said, seven of you are about to receive your now miracle. She ran, but I didn't want to stop, Pastor. Then you she... ran and you received this. Yes, Daddy. Um, about two weeks ago, I had like 700. So I decided that I'm going to start my business. So from that money, I decided that I'm going to put some on my altar before I start everything. But now it's a shock because today was the day that I wanted to actually start my business because I had orders and I told them I will give them today. Now to be in church and all of a sudden miracle money entering my account, I was like, oh my God. Somebody! And now miracle, my daughter, God bless you. Glory Is there anybody who wanted now miracle? Glory to Jesus. May you to receive a now miracle. I receive. Woo! Ah, this week will Glory be the best Jesus. week of your life. Amen. I receive. Your kidneys will be fixed. Somebody receive. This week is your week. Masete Rabako If you have 
You're still waiting for your Holy Communion. Can I see your hand? You're still waiting for it. Everybody has their Holy Communion. Everybody has their Holy Communion. Everybody has it. May I have mine, please? Everybody has it? Right at the back? Bless you. Now, we're breaking bread. And Golgotha, he died. He died for us. Jesus. And as we're breaking bread, may every word declared over you come to pass. I receive it. I remind you, tomorrow we're destroying evil altars. Altars against altars. Amen. The following day is the power of your altars. You have to experience the power of God. Amen. On Thursday, it's an anointing time. There will be oil. Make sure that you come also with your oil. I will have my oil and I will anoint you. On Friday, I will lead you and show you how to raise your altar. There are people who are very far from this place. And you're wondering, Pastor, how can I do it? As you remain connected, the experience that is coming from this altar will reach you. You too will be able to raise an altar. But uh, let me tell you, those of you who are part of this IVP together, we will raise up altars. We will have heaven come down. I receive. There will be something big. And those of you who are still coming to the IVP, together will have that experience. Amen. In the name of Jesus, will you lift your bread? According to his word, the night Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. And after giving thanks, he broke it. And he said, this is my body which is broken for you. Take and eat. And this do in remembrance of me. As often as you shall eat it. Today we break bread. As we close the first day of our fast officially. May every word pronounced prophetically over our lives. Come to pass in the name of Jesus. I receive it. May every prayer we pray. We see the answer in, in the name, name of Jesus. Amen. You may eat. In the same manner, after supper, he took the cup. And after giving thanks, he said, This is my blood, which is shared for you. Take and drink. And this do in remembrance of me, as often as you shall drink of it. Family, we have overcome by the blood of the Lamb. Today, as you drink, may the blood of Jesus cleanse you clean. May victory Amen. be given to you. Amen. Everywhere you go, may God walk before you and make every crooked way straight. Amen. I decree and I declare it to be so in your life as a child of God. Jesus in the name, name of Jesus, you may drink. Close your eyes and take a moment. Give Jesus thank. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We thank you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. Because you are God and there is none like you. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We bless your holy name. We honor you, Jehovah. The great God. We worship you tonight. We thank you, O oh God, for this word that you have given us tonight. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for raising of altars. We thank you, Lord, that, Father, in our first day of prayer and fasting, as your servant has declared, our lives will never be the same again. Lord, we draw our strength from this word. We have heard the menu of the week. Father, this could only have been coming from you. Thank you, Jesus, that the altar of Hallelujah Ministries International is built on a higher altar, the altar of Golgotha, where the blood of Jesus was shed. Father, now we bless this night. We thank you for the word. And under the anointing of our spiritual father, I bless your going. I bless your coming back in the name of Jesus. Come tomorrow with your families where the man of God said we will break altars evil altars let's come tomorrow come and be blessed in jesus name amen